right, guys. So if you are new to my channel, um, I'm going to do a little video. Why should you listen to me and what actually got me into uh, training or fitness or whatever? Um, if you're looking for credentials and certifications, uh, I mean, I, I could, uh, let, let me put it to you this way. I, 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 I was a certified medic. I've been an EMT instructor, so I have a medical background, um, you know, worked in, uh, emergency rooms, ICUs, NICUs, um, you name it. I have that, you know, medical background to, you know, the physiology and everything down. And I did teach, uh, EMS students for the, uh, a federal EMS um, training program. So I've done that. So I have some medical background. Um, I am a certified health teacher. I don't teach health though. Um, let's see. I'm certified PE teacher. I don't teach PE. Uh, let's see. I'm a certified science teacher, but I don't teach science either. So um, my degrees are not in the uh, health field. Um, I started my degree in uh, kinesiology and uh, quickly found myself not agreeing with anything that was being taught to me. I really felt like it was just the dark ages with this arcane, uh, just instructions um, and dietary, just restrict. It was just like, I, I couldn't go to class and, you know, I would go take the test and I'm like, I know this is the answer you want me to give you, but it's not right. So I quickly changed my, uh, my degree plan there. Um, so I didn't last more than a year. So um, that being said, I do have, see, I started working out in like 92, so 8, 28, 28 years, um, working out, started taking supplements back in 92, so I've been around, I've known 28 years worth of supplements that have come out and bullshit that's come out, because, man, in 1992, protein powders tasted straight up, like, it was, it was bad, I remember, you know, having to hold my breath, holding my nose, take a few deep breaths and then just, you know, try to slam it because they tasted horrible. Um, so yeah, there was a, there was a time period. I remember the, uh, the, if you were been around long enough, you remember hot stuff, man, that was the first protein that came out. It was like a whey protein with like 50 ingredients and it was supposed to do everything. And the, the theory behind it is that initially when it came out, they had spiked it with like some anabolic substances. And that's why like it, like everyone like saw results from it. So you never know because I mean, after, after a while, everyone was saying like, ain't shit happening. Um, and it was expensive. It was like a 20 serving tub. And I want to say it was like 60 bucks, 59.99. So, um, I've seen a million scams come and go. Um, I was there when creatine first hit the market. Um, let me see what else was a big deal. Like there's been so many fads, Kydosan, um, as far as fat loss, uh, Geez, there was that other one that escapes me, but um, they, they they came out with this fat loss thing. It was supposed to just help you out with a bunch of fat loss, but the studies in actuality had to take like 60 grams of the stuff. Ugh, I actually don't remember the name of it, but it'll come to me. So anyway, um, I have a lot of gym bro experience. I am very learned. Um, I'm able to go ahead and read um, studies, not just the abstract, um, and, you know, extrapolate that information, be able to understand that. And I love reading. So that's one of the key things is, you know, I am very scientifically based. I am factually based. If I hear stuff, I want to be able to factually back it up. So a lot of my knowledge comes from reading, practicing, um, observing um, seeing the effects on other people, um, taking the advice of other people that are doing things and seeing if that worked for them. So I, I, I mean, I'm coming at you with a, uh, I want to say holistic approach on everything. Whereas, um, I'm not one-sided. Um, you know, I don't BS. I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a very good bullshitter. So, um, that's straight up that as far as, um, and I, I've pretty much tried almost every supplement out there. Um, with the exception of some of the newer stuff, but I mean, hell, I was there on the scene when pro hormones first broke out, man, that was a hell of a seller, uh, when I worked at a vitamin store and, um, yeah, you know, that was, uh, crazy times cause there were some serious side effects to those. And, uh, there were the, I mean, was out in the market, they found a gray area. Nowadays you have SARMs and that's just in a whole other thing. Cause they're not meant for human consumption. A lot of the studies are done on rats. Um, again, you have to really like look at the 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 whole thing on on supplements because I remember back in the day they're like, oh man, Smilax, that stuff's gonna put on some serious muscle, and you'd hear all kinds of stuff about you know this new product came out, and you put on all kinds of gym bro signs and guys at the gym, and you know it was just bullshit. 
And uh, a lot of times, sometimes placebo effects, sometimes people are saying, this is what I'm on when they're on something else, you know? And it's just, it was just, you know, so they're obviously on something else, bro. Your whole back is back knee mountain. Um, I'm pretty sure you're on something else. Uh, so yeah, uh, one of those things, but, um, but I get into working out. All right. Uh, let's see. I want to say I first wanted to start working out. I started playing football just to see if my dad would pay attention to me, but, um, I sucked and, uh, it happened to be about ninth grade. Um, I was getting beat up by three dudes. I was just getting tossed around, thrown all over the place. And this one guy walks up, Sammy Sahadias, he was the, uh, quarterback for the football team and um he walks up and he tells me to leave me alone and you know they puff up he puffs up and he's like he's my cousin leave him alone and you know they left us alone and it was just him and against them three he turns around to me and he goes look man you need to learn to stick up for yourself he's all like you really think i can take on all three of them and i was like i don't know because sammy looked huge to me um, I look back, he wasn't that huge now, but he looked huge to me back then. Um, he's like, no, of course I can't, but they don't want someone who's going to fight. That's why they're picking on you. You're not going to fight back. You fight back. Quit being a bitch, you know, he's straight up. He's like, so I was like, oh man, you know, I'm going to start working out like Sammy. And uh, it, was, it sounded like a good idea in my head, but I'm going to be honest with you, I was full of fucking idea, uh, excuses. I was fucking lazy. I was fat, um, you know, so that didn't help. I loved binging on food. Um, I was fat and I fit the fat stereotype of, I was just lazy. Like, I didn't want to do the fucking work. So, um, I would love to say that that was, you know, the, the, the happy ending. Uh, it sparked the, the desire in me, but I didn't have that fucking push to, you just really want to change. So, uh, let's see. I moved to Phoenix and, um, got my heart broken by Allison. Um, yeah. So Allison, uh, she <laughs> broke my heart. And I was playing football on the team. And I was like, you know what? I'm really going to start working out. And we had a coach, Coach Bill. He was really, like, way ahead of his time. Um, like, even back then, this is, I want to say, 93. Um, he was already telling us to take branched-chain amino acids. He's like, you need to take branched-chain amino acids. Um, and, you know, he was trying to keep, like, I, I guess a lot of the guys on the team were, like, you know, talking about, you know, using steroids and stuff like that. So he's all like, just, you know, he was finding ways to keep us off that stuff and make sure we, you know, we were able to build naturally. And he was like, you need to up your protein. This is what you need to be eating. And, you know, he was all full of like theories and ideas and um, like way ahead of his time. Cause it's shit. You, I would tell anyone right now, like how are you going to do it? This is how you're going to do it. Coach Bill knew this 1992. So um, he was, uh, he was pretty cool about it. He saw that I was trying to make an effort to lose weight. He saw, you know, asked me about my diet. And I was like, man, um, I eat once a day sometimes. And I was like, I was, that's what sumo um, wrestlers do. They'll eat one giant meal a day and you get that insulin fucking flood. Um, so it wasn't like the best idea. Um, I was just flooding myself with just, I'd eat whatever, whatever I wanted one meal a day. And then I would like decide to starve myself the rest of the time. And then I ate all carbs. Like I decided I was just going to eat nothing but rice. Cause that's supposed to be healthy for you. So I was eating nothing but rice. So finally he's all like, look, this is what you need to eat. And he's like, you know, eggs, these lean meats. Um, he's like, eat some fatty meats too. He's like, don't be afraid of fat. He's all like, you got to cut out all this fucking carbohydrates you're eating. Stop eating rice. Stop eating all this other stuff. And, uh, sure enough, you know, before I knew it, uh, senior year, that's what it ended up looking like. So, um, wasn't getting picked on anymore. Uh, I was getting a lot more attention from the ladies. Uh, so, you know, but I, but I had that, like, I guess I actually had to have that just heartbreak and just anger. Cause I didn't have an out, uh, there's no way for me to get that anger out until I started doing the weights. And I remember when I first, you know, went into the gym, it was just frustrating. Cause I went in there and it was like 10th grade. I tried to bench 135. It fucking slammed on my chest, man. It was, it was just sad. And, um, so I tried to get 135 slams on my chest. I remember the guy I was working out with laughed at me. Um, so it was one of those, it was a growth process, but, um, eventually, yeah, you know, I, I, my max lifts, I've gotten 440 for one on bench, 405 for three. Um, don't bench press anymore. Uh, deadlift, I got 670. I couldn't get 675. The moment it became 675, Thor's fucking hammer. Um, my, my squat has sucked, but. Um, I got a 495 squat. You can never break the 500 barrier. And you also have to consider that um, I have been stabbed in the legs. So I have scar tissue all over my legs, um, which kind of really hurts sometimes when I'm squatting because I feel that scar tissue st uh, stretching. And I only have a, uh, I don't have a quad for my left leg. I have a tricep because when I got stabbed, 
they sliced that open and they couldn't put the muscle back together because it was this way. So it would cause too much. It just couldn't put it back together. So I'm holding my leg. Um, so, uh, yeah, I started training, kept training, started working at GNC, um, got involved in the whole supplement thing, but, uh, eventually did get into law enforcement, did my whole law enforcement career and, um, got into special teams, got into, uh, teaching, uh, defensive and offensive tactics for, uh, law enforcement agencies there, um, SRT instructor or special response team instructor. So, um, realize, yeah, physical fitness is extremely important, especially if you're fighting for your life. So that's, that's why I got into lifting. Um, I actually had to have that fire behind me. I mean, I, I remember with Sam, I was like, I want to, but fuck, I was just lazy. I was a lazy fat ass. That's the truth. And like, that's what I encounter a lot of people. They're like, well, I, I, but, uh, I just don't want to get off my ass. And it didn't, it wasn't until like Allison really hurt me where I was like, oh man, you know what? Never again. This girl's going to live to regret this. So, um, Allison with your old ass <laughs> sitting at home, with five kids. I win. All right. Um, that's, that's my story right there. Um, yeah. Any questions you let me know, but basically, um, you're going to get no bullshit fucking answers for me. And, uh, I do know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I practice what I preach. Um, I'm not one of those that's like, Hey, you know what you need to do back in the day, yeah, back in the day, but you know what? I still look pretty fucking good for someone in his 40s, all right? So that's all I have to say about that. All right, guys, um, that's my introduction as to why you should, uh, what I what I know and why I started, and uh, I hope you enjoy the channel. All right, guys, thank you.